today I am changing all of this to new uh, state-of-the-art calipers. These things are guaranteed to lock up and unloosen our brake line, right? take the caliper off itself. And if you don't need to actually change the bracket that connects it to the wheel, don't do it. But chances is, as old as this one is, it all needs change. So, right, so now we done took the brake shoes off. We done took the caliper itself loose. So the only thing that needs to come loose is this bracket. And the only way to do that is these bolts right here. When you see these bolts, take both of these out on both sides and that entire bracket slides right off. After you put your bracket on and you got it tight and secure, next thing to do is take the pins that you have to hold your brake shoes in place. Just make sure that they are properly seated where they're supposed to be. That way when you go to put a, a brake shoe in place, this is how it should be. This is how your brakes should look when they're in. And you can see the pin right here. And that's there to help release the brakes when it's time to after you've uh, locked them up for them to expand and after you do that you just put your caliber back in its place like so and then you now right here this is going to be difficult okay you see this groove and you see this okay when you put your brake line back together like this make sure this groove right here goes into here if you ever have trouble with bleeding your brake line after you put a brand new caliper on this is a pretty darn good method to do it. See the air bubbles coming out? They're reciprocating all the way down into this right here. So you're not losing your brake fluid, but you're also pumping out all the air that got inside your brake line while you put your calipers on. And then all you got to do is at the end is just throw your straw to the bottom on the pop bottle and suck all your brake fluid back into your cylinder. That way you don't lose any expensive amount. This is one method you can take, but there are a few methods out there, but this is probably the easiest one that I've come to find. And as you can see, you see those air bubbles? Yeah, that's coming out of your brake line, as so to speak, without losing any of your brake fluid. So, here's your idea.